Hey, I'm Pat. Welcome to Daily Devo. Today, we're going to be looking at an incredible promise from God. Hey, I hope you've been enjoying these Daily Devos. Uh, we are in what we're calling Peter's last lecture because we're looking at some of the last words of Peter, a guy who spent four years walking and talking with Jesus. We know these are some of his last words. He says that right in chapter one. So 2 Peter chapter one, today we're gonna jump into verse four. Peter writes this, he says, and because of his glory and excellence, he has given us great and precious promises. These are the promises, these precious promises. These are the precious promises that enable you to underline these words, share his divine nature. These precious promises allow us to share his divine nature. Another translation actually says that we can be partakers of his divine nature. Those are bold words. If you've read much of the Bible, you know that there's numerous times where we're told that we get to share in the blessings of God, that we're going to share in the blessings of Jesus. But this goes beyond this. It goes beyond just sharing in his blessings. It actually says we share in his divine nature. What does that mean? Okay, Paul, a guy that wrote some Jesus followers in Rome, in Romans chapter 8 verse 9 Here's what he writes. He says, but you are not controlled by your sinful nature. You, he's talking to Jesus followers, you are controlled by the spirit if you have the spirit of God living in you. If you have the spirit of God. Now, look what he says next. Listen. And remember that those who do not have the spirit of Christ living in them do not belong to him at all. Turn that around. Here's what, here's what Paul is saying. If you've put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, you have the spirit of God. That's what Peter's trying to get across to you and I in verse 4. He's saying, do you understand the magnitude of this promise, this precious promise that the Spirit of God resides in you? So, so think about that today at, at work, at, at school, at home maybe, wherever you are. Just dwell on the magnitude of this promise that if you have put your faith and trust in Jesus, the Spirit of the Creator and sustainer of this universe, the spirit of the almighty God, the spirit of the God that someday every knee will bow and every tongue confess to, that spirit lives inside of you. We get to share in his divine nature.